All right, team. Today, we're going to work on an elevator for the skyscraper. Awesome! When you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage you can ride called an elevator. Press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top. Wow! I want to see all of Spring City. Can I ride the elevator? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're a bit too big for the elevator. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Tiny, can you send the loading cage down again, please? Time for some tower power! What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see everything in Spring City! I'm going up! I'm going up! I'm still going up! Oh, no! Well, this is higher than I thought! That sounds like Scoop! Whoa! Whoa! I'm balancing! I've got an idea. Slow down and stop. Perfect. Scoop, I need you to roll carefully towards me. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. What on earth were you doing up there, Scoop? I'm sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up to the top and see all of Spring City. Well, at least you're OK. Right. If we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. All done. At least you got to see all of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. So, just the parking lot to lay and a few inside things to finish off before the grand opening. Wow! Muck, you'll be laying the aggregate. Lofty, you'll be shifting materials, and Scoop, you'll be mixing the concrete for the parking lot with two tons. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Chef Tatty's milkshake bar is going to be a really fun place. Well, I thought we could experiment with some new ingredients. Oh, no, no, no. You don't mess with concrete, Scoop. We'll be making the usual concrete. Oh. How's it going? Not great. A handful of those. And a big dollop of that. Let's try a bit of this. And one of those. A couple of these boys. Wow! I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete-tastic surprise. I'm back and ready to mix, Tutan. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. Amazing! It's so colourful and fun and and squishy and sticky. This concrete's not dry. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. Oh. 
Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tati experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun, I wanted to try something fun too. Okay, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dumpster. Yellow, red and blue cement! Looks way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. Sardine sandwiches a la Bob. Today, we're finishing work on Chef Tatty's brand new revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. It looks like a spaceship. I'll be building the kitchen while Leo, Muck, Scoop and Lofty will decorate this entrance. And I'll be wiring the floor so that it turns round and round like a merry-go-round. Can we give you a hand? Aye, there are ingredients for my chef's special at the opening banquet tonight. Okay, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I'll be back soon. Prepare for liftoff. I hope everyone's hungry. Crumbs? Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelet on the cooktop? Lunch is served. <laughs> oh dear, we've only got an hour until the guests arrive and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. Voila! Mm-mm, delicious. Thank you, Chef Taddy. <laughs> and thank you, Bob. You truly are a whiz in the kitchen. All right, team. Today, we're going to be finishing off the new giraffe enclosure. I love giraffes. They're my favorite animal because their necks are really, really long. Just like my jib. They are. That's great, Lofty. Now, you have to lift all our building supplies over the zoo fence. Right, Bob. And the rest of us will be inside finishing the giraffe enclosure. <gasps> oh, no. This fence is really high. I'll never be able to see the giraffe over that. Can we build it? Yes, we can. This should keep the giraffe safe in his home. Look, Lofty, it's the giraffe. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. 
I can't see it. If I can just peek through. Lofty. I'm really sorry, Bob. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform? And Scoop, can you help them? I'm okay, okay, Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. Where? The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> if it's the giraffe's lunchtime, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Giraffe. It's working, Lofty. the giraffe. Hmm, I don't know. What about Lofty the giraffe? After Lofty the crane who helped find him. Boy, oh boy. Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Should be a simple enough job, Wendy. New barriers at the entrance to the town hall and paving for the driveway. Well, if we're digging all this old stuff up, we'll need to attach Scoop's high-powered breaker. Yes! Oh. Oh. Mayor Madison! I want everything looking perfect for the grand unveiling of the statue. No problem. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Have a little rest if you wanted. I'm fine. No, you look tired. Everyone deserves a break now and then. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right here. Well, it has been quite a hard morning. Hey, Mott, do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Whoa! Emergency! Everyone out of the way! Oh, no! What happened? What have I done? What are we going to do now, Bob? We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like puzzle pieces. You've given me an idea. We're going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! Ready, Bob? Ready! Go for it, Lofty. Uh-oh. Dear me, I must have sent the wrong picture. That appears to be, uh, me on my last vacation. Well, that's the last vacation you'll be taking for some time, Mr. Bentley. We can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. Oh, the castle doesn't have a portcullis. Better get Bob on this right away. 
Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. We'll be there right away. Okay, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? It's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge, too. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. Okay, Wendy. Hey, how dare thee trespass? I command thee to retreat, foul beast. Leo, is everything secure? Take this and that. Leo, ha <laughs> ha, Leo. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <sighs> I guess they'll just have to find a different way out. What was that? What's wrong, Leo? I think it's a ghost. You're no match for the gallant Prince Fixalot. There's nothing to worry about, Leo. Just sit tight. I've got the perfect plan to get you out. First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. Uh, who's there? Go? Is that you? Hello, Your Majesty. Oh, 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 I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> right. There you go, Prince fix a -lot. Um, thanks a lot. Yay! Well done, team. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> the castle is ready for the festival. Hi. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wow! Bob and Wendy are building you that treehouse? Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? And we can hold our first club meeting today at lunchtime. You want the treehouse finished today? Yes, please. That's okay, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. Awesome! Thank you! It'll be the best clubhouse ever! Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Floor painted, check. Paint drying, check. Hey, I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Um... Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! <laughs> Wendy! We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse! No, Safi, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement! <laughs> Waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. How's it going, Hero Wendy? Help! What was that? Sappy! Why were you up there, Sappy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. <gasps> the trophy! Don't worry, Sappy. I'll get it. Too far down! Oh. Let him go! Hmm, my hero. Team, 
team, I need all wheels on deck. Now! The cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Thank you! I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy? Of course. Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Sappy. New dog, Tilly? No, I'm just doggy sitting him. Oh, ahem. excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Uh, can you speak up? Rex! Oh! Oh, goodness! Are you all right, Safi? Yes, fine, thank you. I think Cooper likes to chase cats. Here, Cooper. Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. And could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that then. All right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> Good, Pilcher. Quickly now. I need to go get... Cooper! Pilcher! <laughs> that didn't quite go as planned. Cooper, look out! <laughs> Don't dogs like to play ball? Okay, let's get this job finished. Yes, yes ball. ball. Excuse me, Bob. Would you mind taking our photograph? It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. Cooper! No! Not Lady Tibbles! Oh, oh, oh no, stop it! Get down, boy! Oh, down! No. Oh, do something! Happy birthday, Curtis! A great big lunch at Chef Patty's, huh? Now that's a super birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll handle things here at my garage. Let's go! Okay, team, we are going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, wow! We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Slowly. A little to the left. And now all the way down. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. Uh, hello? I seem to have a bit of a problem. Okay, Mr. Bentley. I think all the tires are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little bit more in this one. A little more? Uh, no, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a line building up. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Betsy. 
I'll be with you soon. We need to get going with hanging the neon sign. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, uh, I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see? You need to get that looked at quickly. Follow me! Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Betsy! Betsy! Are you okay? I'm fine, Bob. I should never have put Betsy on the lift. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? Hi, Bob. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I sent Scoop down to meet you. What's going on? Oh, I don't feel well. What's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. <coughs> rattle? Oh, uh, I heard that, yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. All right, I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Curtis! Curtis! Whoa! And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing. Thank you, everyone. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming along. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Over here! Whoa, they're so fast. They'll be even faster on the ice. Wow, playing hockey looks like so much fun. <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. Oh. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um, Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spannertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh, if... We could play here instead? Oh, uh, um... I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could... Bob said they could! Uh, Yay! Come on, jump in, Rockets. What just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished for tonight. I did? Then in that case, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! We can! Great. Cold as a polar bear's nose. Hmm. It must be ready by now. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. Ooh, oh. <laughs> hey, Scoop! Catch this! Scoop, no! <laughs> no, Lofty, not you too. <gasps> Really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. That's okay, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? You know how things move faster on ice? Well, sliding! Just in time. You did it! That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. 